um, sidebarred and then it morphed into a break. Um, let's bring in Joseph Tully. This this witness seems to know her stuff and um, has a, a kind of a you know a, a, a nice demeanor about her. You know, it's not the nerdy college yeah. professory guy making you think of formulas and the, it's a it's a someone who you could tell just enjoys this kind yeah. of stuff and is trying to help the jury. Uh, how do you handle someone who's nice and bubbly like this that is saying something that you? don't believe uh, on cross without offending. Sure, so sometimes you do the, the old law school expression, two ships passing in the night. Uh, recall that the defense is going to have their own expert, and I think what's being set up right now is what's called the battle of the experts, where the prosecution has their expert, the defense have their expert. It's like two ships passing in the night, and uh, you know, I, I would make it short and quick you know, because she did say, uh, say if, if I'm not mistaken, that it was possible. She didn't say it's definitive. She said it was possible. I would hammer home that point um, that it was possible that the search was made at that time. She can't 100% rule it out. And then I would just uh, bring in my expert and, and, and have the bat set up the battle of the experts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. and, and, and with this so much reasonable doubt here and so many other issues, if this is a wash at the end of the day, if every, if the jurors just don't know, that's a win yeah. for the defense. Definitely. Yeah. All right, Joseph, thank you so much. Cross-examination is next, so we'll have to see what the defense ends up doing. We'll be right back.